this series of videos i will give you a detailed tutorial on how to use vista software starting from the download and basics then different toolbar in the vista software following that how to draw a crystal structure from scratch and also from the ci file then how to draw 2d material how to draw heterostructure of 2d material or different type of material also how to visualize in different way how to show a doped atom in an unit cell also show the alloy of different element how to draw a super cell out of a unit cell then how to draw a crystal shape It will be very useful when you want to show a nano cluster also the vector of atoms which is useful when you want to show a unit cell of a magnetic material then the lattice plane like if you want to represent 111100 or different type of lattice plane in given unit cell how to cut off a plane in different shape and also how to generate a powder XRD pattern out of a unit cell. This can be very useful and effective way to optimize the lattice parameter before you start to perform retroid refinement. And then how to draw electron density map. So let's begin tutorial one, the browser type Vista software. The first link is for the download Vista. So click on this one. It will take you to the page where you can download the Vista software for Windows, Mac and the Linux. So simply click on the given link and this software can be used without any installation so before going to the software let me take you through some other information provided on this website so for example about download you can find option for online manual over here you will find a detailed description for each and every section of this software i strongly recommend that you should go through this detailed information and get friendly with the vista software also the website provides few links for different website which are very useful for people who are working in material science around the crystallography. So let's go to the crystallography open database website. What information you can get from the COD website is about the CIF file. Okay, that CIF file can be used in the Vista software to draw a unit cell or crystal structure and also can be used for performing retroid refinement using GSA software or full proof software. So how to get the CIF file? Click on the search option then here you need to provide detail about the element in your compound so let's consider ci file for the au now the number of distinct element minima and maxima is one minima element one maxima element click on the same so it will give you a list of ci file uploaded by different research group so the cu is having fm 3m space group that is face centered cubic with the space group number two to five and the cell parameter if you want to know more about this au then you can just click on this corresponding research paper and get more information about it if you want to get a ci file just click on the ci file link and the ci file will be downloaded that simple it is now let's go to the vista software so after you download and open it it will look like this one okay then go to the download link here I have downloaded CIF file for sodium chloride, for AU, platinum or WS2 and also for the graphite. So let's select one by one. Select the CIF file and just drag it to the Vista software. Now you can see the unit cell for sodium chloride, NaCl. Similarly, let's take the AU and drag it to the CIF file. Now the interesting part is NaCl is over here, AU is over here. Okay. So irrespective of how many CI file you drag to the Vista software, it will create individual page for each CI file. So sodium chloride, AU, graphite, and you can just use your mouse and move around WS2. This is a platinum. So I hope through this video you learn how to download the Vista software, also how to download the CIF file from the COD website. In the second tutorial, I will be discussing more about the toolbar. So don't forget to watch that video. And also if this video has helped you, then do like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon button to be updated with my new videos.